pant wettingly excited because I'm here with Keith Chegwin. How are you? I'm pant wettingly excited too because I'm here with you. Oh, that's so nice of you to say. I'm all right. I'm very well. Good. I'm very well. We walked in today and Keith went, yeah. I'll be with you in two minutes. I'm just having a CGI avatar of my head made. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, is that, what is that about? Oh, it's, it's like uh, the children's baptist is always a fun occasion. Uh, and we're there to celebrate uh, how good children's TV programmes is and the quality of it. So we thought it would be a really nice idea because the whole of uh, the BAFTA, even the programme and everything else, is all in 3D. Right, okay. So they're doing a CGI model of myself That's to appear amazing. on screen so people can watch me. So it'll be quite clever. I've got to say, it's quite a good looking CGI head. It's, less, it's perhaps less wrinkly than you are in the flesh. Yeah, I'm so chuffed they can straighten me out. Yeah, they've they really I, ironed it out. Yeah, I mean, they can morph my face and do everything. I mean, if I had surgery, I'm just looking at it thinking, that's what they could that's do. That's what they'll do. I, don't think I could look do like that, Ross Kemp. Yeah. <laughs> no one wants that, Keith. Now, <laughs> you obviously have been in this industry a very, very long time. Yeah. You must have some absolutely amazing gossip, like proper oh, gossip. Oh, gosh, I have. About three weeks ago, I found out that I was the... I sang the first song that Phil Collins ever wrote when I was at stage school and I was 10 years of age. Really? Yeah, and they got a VT clip of me singing this number. Don't even know the name of the song, can't even remember it. Yeah. And it was the first song that Phil Collins ever, ever, ever wrote. And were you the first person to perform it? Yes, I was. Let's, let's get yeah. that out as a single. I know, there you go. Amazing. Oh, make some money. You've been in the charts before, though, a couple of times, haven't you? I was in a band called Kenny. Yeah. They got to number four with a song called The Bump. The Bump. Was yeah. it a good song? Did you nope. write it? <laughs> no, I didn't write it. No. And I wash my hands of it now. Okay. Yeah. Bats and Naked Jungle. Yeah, there you go. Oh, my God. Well, I didn't wash my hands after that either. No, no. <laughs> I, I hope you had a full body scrub down after that. Oh, God. It's the worst bloody thing I've ever done. Oh, my God. I was mentioned in the House of Commons. I was mentioned by the Queen. How does it feel to know that the Queen oh. has seen your knob? I, I don't know. I'm embarrassed by it now. Yeah. I've promised my mother I'll never take the clothes off in no. public ever again. I reckon again. she would have liked it, you know. <laughs> I reckon, no. I reckon you're a saucy one for the older lady. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I reckon she's probably taken a still, a, a grab of it. And yeah, it a screen it grab. Framed, yeah. yeah. And, it, and enlarged. And she can't do that because I'll charge you for it because I own it, man. Yeah, yeah. So the Queen, if you have got a, a yes, still there you store go. of <laughs> Chegger's knob, please remove that from Buckingham Palace. Now, are you doing pantomime this year? No. Really? <laughs> haven't you I haven't done it for years. Oh, OK. And this is my favourite, one on. of my favourite stories ever, <laughs> is that you used to buy up from pound shops, like, bouncy coloured balls, <laughs> yes. and then go and sell them in the interval for, like, Crystal balls. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, when you do panto, I mean, you've got to make sure you've got a commission on the house, you know, that's that right, people sit really there. Amazing. Halfway through the show, you turn around and say, have you got your crystal balls, kids? Yeah. No, I haven't. And they go buy them at the interval and yeah, uh, yeah. you pocket the cash. It's just deceitful but brilliant. <laughs> it's yeah. not just me. It's everyone out there does it. Everyone does it. it. Okay. <laughs> Now, I was wondering, obviously you've been in showbiz a very long time. Have you oh. got any top showbiz tips for me? Um, Maybe your top three showbiz tips. We can take number yes. one as selling... Yeah, selling uh, uh, bits on the side. Yeah. Uh, lie is always a very good one. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, uh, I went to a stage school and they always taught me to lie. You know, so um, if, you, <laughs> if you went in for a job and you, uh, they said, can you horse ride? You go, oh, yes. Yeah. You know, and I did that and got uh, myself in a party in Polanski's Macbeth. Right. You go for every audition going. It doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a bit part or a big star part. Mm. I mean, I arrived in a room once uh, with uh, eight midgets. Yeah. And I thought, <laughs> what the heck am I doing here? And I found out that they were auditioning for a 64-year-old midget who could cartwheel. Right. And I thought, my agent's gone too far this time. <laughs> so I went out as one of the auditioners and they knew that I wasn't of small stature. You think I'll put some shoes on no. my knees. <laughs> and walk in. Yeah. No, I went in and I got the job. And the guy turned around. <laughs> yeah, I got the job and it was appearing at the Chester Mystery Place at the Royal Albert Hall. How oh, much God. is too much? Oh, when you end up in clinic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used to drink yeah. quite in a rehab, lot. Yes. Yeah, in rehab. But... Um, uh, yeah, I think that was too much, really. But mind you, I quite enjoyed it. Really? What, the, <laughs> yeah. re not the rehab, not the alcoholism? Oh, no, 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 I quite enjoyed the drinking. A lot of people said that you must have been awful. No, it's great. Okay, <laughs> I was going to say, because you seem to me to be the man who probably doesn't need a drink to have an enjoyable time. I imagine you'd be like a little dog at Christmas, yeah, humping a leg. That's what I suspect <laughs> you'd be like. Fantastic. And the last thing I wanted when I come to BAFTA is Keith Chegwin to hump, hump my, my leg. leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who are you saying yeah, no. over there? It's a man on television. It's a man on television. I, I, I didn't see his face because I looked too briefly. Who is it? I, I can't remember his name. <laughs> are you going to say to him? What's your name again? I can't remember who the fuck you are. <laughs> you'll be interviewing him next, I'm won't you? I'm going to move yeah. on. You'll find out he's bigger than me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you'll move. Oh, when I look at his face, I'm like, oh, it's him. <laughs> uh, screw you, Cheggers. <laughs>
<laughs> right, Keith, I shall leave you to schmooze and mingle with that, that man and we don't know who he is. Can you, can we, can you film yes. you going and saying hi? Yes. If we do that. Okay, yes. right, Keith, go and say hello to him. I want to see how it's Excellent. done. Cheerio. Thank you very Take much. care. Bye bye. Excellent. Keep the Thank camera rolling. Cheers. How are you doing there? <laughs> Holy moly. You're fine in the background. That's all right.